Have you ever wanted to move files from one iOS device to another? Well, luckily for you, while this might have been a challenging task in the past, with AirDrop in iOS 7, this is actually very simple. So the concept of AirDrop is actually very simple. What you're going to do is send a file from one iOS device through a Wi-Fi network to another. Now if you've ever used NFC on an Android device, the concept is relatively the same other than the fact that you're not using near field communication, you're using a Wi-Fi network to accomplish the same task. So before you start this, you're going to want to make sure that both devices using AirDrop have AirDrop on. In order to do this, you're going to want to swipe up to Control Center. And from here, you're going to find AirDrop. You can just tap on it and choose whether you want contacts only or everyone. Now, if you know the person you're going to AirDrop with is in your contacts, you can put on contacts only. But if you're not sure, you're going to want to turn on everyone. Now, don't worry. It doesn't mean that anyone in the room can just send you things. You always have to accept them, so you're okay. Now, what you'll also notice is that this turns on Bluetooth because the device uses Bluetooth to find other AirDrop devices near it even though it uses Wi-Fi to send the actual um, file. So you're going to need both of those things enabled in order to use AirDrop. So now that I have these both enabled, you can choose the app that you want to send things with. Now you can use things like the YouTube app or Safari or any app that supports a share sheet. I'm going to use the Pictures app because it's relatively simple and it's something that's going to be uniform on different devices. So I have some Tech Rumor new iPhone concepts up here that I think are pretty cool. And maybe I want to send them to my iPad and maybe include them in a video I'm editing on here or put them on a post or something like that. Now in order to do this, I'm just going to hit select and choose the pictures that I want to send. So maybe these three right here. And I'm going to hit the share sheet at the bottom left. Now, if you only wanted to send one photo, you could always select that photo and hit the share sheet at the bottom left rather than hitting the select button here. But multiples are much easier when you do the select button, hit the share sheet, and AirDrop pops up. Now, give it a little bit of time to go searching around, finding devices nearby using AirDrop. And my iPad using my Apple ID shows up. And I can just tap on it. You see waiting. And then you see that it's sent, and I can choose to accept this. So I am going to accept these three photos, hitting accept, and it launches me right into the camera app. These three photos show up in my camera roll right over here. So it's actually very simple. Now, um, you could also do this with things like videos that I have right here. These are, again, some concept videos from uh, different creators and I want to send these over to my iPhone. Maybe I want to text, uh, send them in like an iMessage or something like that. I'm going to select once again. Maybe I'll select the first one only and hit the share sheet at the top this time. And AirDrop might go a little bit faster just because we have linked before. But again, be patient. It's going to take a minute. It's going to search with Bluetooth until it finds another device. And then that device will show up right in that AirDrop section. And now that I see myself up there, I'm just going to tap and it says waiting and I can choose to accept or not accept. I'm going to hit accept. And this time what you're going to see is we have uh, the video that shows up in my camera roll and the videos area. So that's really cool as well. So I'm going to go back to my videos now and up in my videos, I'm going to find something a little bit longer and a little bit more high quality. So I'm going to take this, uh, five minute video right here select and this video is going to be a little bit larger so you're gonna see when I airdrop it um, and it shows up I'm actually going to have this cool circle that shows me the rate at which the video is transferring now you're not gonna to wanna to leave the Wi-Fi network Bluetooth range really doesn't matter at this point because you are sharing via Wi-Fi but you're certainly not gonna to wanna to leave that Wi-Fi network while the circle is going, otherwise the person will not get the video and it won't give part of the video, it will just erase what's already been transferred and this will be pointless. So I'm going to cancel right now, I'm not as uh, worried and as you saw you do get confirmation if the person did receive or if something went wrong, so um, it's actually very simple. So the idea here is again switching files between devices, this is great if you're maybe video editing or things like that. It's a concept that's a lot like the Mac, but a little different. Now one downside I do have to this is the fact that you cannot airdrop a file from your Mac 
to an iPad or an iPhone. Now I could understand this for things like uh, maybe third party apps that you shouldn't be putting on these devices or maybe uh, files that can't be played on iOS devices, but I do find it annoying for maybe pictures that I want to move on here or videos for when I'm editing and I can't just go and take them from my Mac and put them on these devices. But again, it's totally up to you. Use it how you wish. And I So we hope you have enjoyed this video from How To Do Tech. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We do ask that if you have a question, you leave the device you're using as well as the operating system along with your question. How to do tech is on Google Plus and Facebook, so feel free to circle us and like us there. You can also ask us questions on those social media profiles. Click on the annotations now to go to any one of our videos or playlists. You can also click the links in the description to go to all of our playlists. Don't forget to like and subscribe.